Hello guys, welcome back to a Pentestress Club. Today we are going to discuss about SQL injection. So what is SQL injection? So SQL injection is a type of cyber attack where an attacker can insert say malicious structured query language code into input fields of web applications or database query. So this can occur when inputs are not properly validated or sanitized. So, for example, we can use like R1 equal to 1. So, this manipulates a input could change the logic of the SQL query and potentially allow for unauthorized access of the database. To prevent SQL injection, it's a crucial for developer to use parameterized queries and prepare for statements or other secure coding practices and validate the sanitized users to input before to interacting with the database. So first what we would like to do here. So first open the terminal. So first we would like to identify the network. So you just type sudo esu and enter the password. So you just type net discover minus i is zero. So we got to our hosting machine. So you just quit now. You just type nmap minus c4 minus a is an aggressive scan and enter. So now let's wait for the nmap result. So it's take a lengthy time process, so now let's wait. Yeah, we have successfully got the Nmap result. Now we can see one is available with SSH, another one is 80, another port is 9090. So come back here. So we would like to type 192.168.1.92. You can see here this is like uh, HTTP enumeration. Again, we would like to look 192.168.1.92. So we would like to enter uh, 9090, the port. 
and click on advance then click on accept the risk and continue so this is like a debian gnu linux so we don't know the both username and password so first we would like to uh, enumerate here so come back here file new tab so you just type gobuster uh, directory minus u is the url and paste it the word list user share word list directory buster so i would like to use uh, common word list.txt so here we got one is an admin so you just uh, copy this one come back here paste it then go so in the again admin we get the username and password so come back here at the terminal we would like to look here again the admin so we got it here one is on a backup so you need to consider 301 is on a directory or otherwise an extension so we would like to come back here backup so here is an a backup so we would like to look here uh, we would like to input like uh, index.php equal to one so we would like to use at the rate id equal to one yeah so we got it here id one is jack so we would like to type two is co three is bird brad four is expenses five is julia six is mike And you'd like to type uh, seven, Adrian. So we would, it's uh, getting a lot of users uh, repeatedly. So we would like to use uh, our uh, SQL injections is one, or one equal to one. One equal to one. So you can see here you have an error in your SQL syntax. Check a manual with the correspondent of your uh, MariaDB server versions. So, at the line one. So, now come back here. We would like to type uh, close this, this also four. So, it's expensive. So, you just type clear. So, you just type SQL map minus u. So, you just type HTTP 192.168.1.92. And you just type admin. Uh, and you just type index.php id or the red id equal to 4 dbs so we got the dbs uh, here is available a, a db so here you come back so you mention a db and the db place you just type uh, uh, database name as a db and you just type dump so it will dump the username and passwords so you can see here uh, they have 10 usernames and passwords so you just copy open a new mousepad and you just paste it so come back here so you have done so you just need to find now this one so for that we would like to know clearly uh, with the help of SQL injections, we found everything, the usernames and passwords here. So it's not in the hash also, it's a direct hash password. So we would like to try with our admin on password. So here, come back here. So username is admin. And password is uh, this one. So copy. Come back. You just paste it. So it shows uh, wrong passwords. So now come back here again. We would like to type. Uh, so we would like to use now a five equal to. We would like to use uh, local file inclusion here. So here we got in the getting the result of local file inclusion. So you just copy, 
So you just type curl and paste this entirely. So I told you before in my previous videos. So you can find a username very usefully like uh, char lotty is the username. So this is the bin bash. You can get the root relay access for this. So you can type char lotty username. So you just copy, come back. So you just paste it. And we would like to use uh, the admins one password. So you just copy, uh, come back here. You just paste it. So we have successfully logged in here. So you can see our uh, web console is running as a limited mode access. CPU memory. So you just type here in the terminal. So in the terminal, what you can get here in the terminal. So you just type ID. We got it ID. So you just type who am I? We got it who who am I? And now we go for privilege escalation. So you just type get cap. get cap is r who is greater than dev r null now let's see so here it's like a user being old so we would like to use as an old and we need to set up the operating system. So we just type uh, old, it's give a Python 2.7.6 its version. So now you just type, uh, we need to import the OS. So import OS. So we have imported the OS. So you just type OS. Uh, Uh, we need to set up os dot set user id and its user id is zero now we just type uh, os system bin bash yes so we have got the root access already. So you just type list minus a. So you just type cat local.txt. Now you just type cd root list minus a. So you just type cat proof.txt. That's it. So we have successfully completed this machine. So you tried your own guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.